Oh, are well, we doing the stealing one. shit? I mean, really, we could just not name the episode, but this is... Oh, I mean... Stealing shit. All right, yeah, yeah. Welcome oh. back to WWJD. Uh, I'm your host, <laughs> Uncle Jack. I'm Brandon. <laughs> I'm Brandon. And Perk. We're supposed to do it in the other order because it's PB and J. We just uh, were informed of that recently. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> I just uh, fixed this short. Yo, oh, my nuts were all so- jammed up. This episode's about Jaws nuts. Jammed um, up, you get it? PB and J. Uh, yeah. J. All right, guys, I gotta go. Um, <laughs> this episode's about getting shit, blast. or like just thievery in general. It's uh, called, and it's gonna scroll across the screen right here. Probably not right here. Probably way right before this. Um, right here. Episode six: the the thief strikes back. Please, man. Uh, I got a fucking notebook with um, puppies on it for the podcast. This Fuck is yeah. my uh, podcast Shit, notebook to, to keep all my really important <laughs> notes. The viewers at home, Josh writes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Random fact. I, 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 oh, I don't even know what's a fact. I've heard Shih Tzus are the closely related, are the close, most closely related dog to wolves. Shih Tzus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thing here. Anyways, yeah, stolen. Who's got the first one? There you go. Speaking of of dogs, this I wasn't even going to talk about this. Yo, st- stealing shit. Are you? Are we talking about the same story? Because I wrote this one down. This is when we used to live together. Yes. Bro. Okay. Tell it. Tell it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, like, I'm going I'm to prefix the story with, like, so I get my own place. Or not my own place. But, like, me and my friends get our own place in Gate. And where we were living. Gotham City. In Gotham City. Yeah. In uh, Gotham City. We got our own place. And uh, this, we start having like parties on the weekends or whatever. You know, whoever wants to come over can come over, obviously, every weekend, pretty much. And like one weekend, this dude shows up who's like, Yeah, I went to high school with you. And like, he knew my name, he knew uh, my vocalist name, and he knew like another person there. And none of us fucking knew this guy. And he was like seven fucking foot tall. And yeah, you he's... remember you you remember somebody that's seven foot tall. Like I am not exaggerating. He is one of the tallest people I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like fucking huge. And I'm just like, bro, if we went to school together, I would have remembered seeing somebody that's bigger than every adult in the school. The biggest person in the school, I would have seen you. And I don't yeah. remember you. Yeah. Yeah. But the crowd of people in the hallway, he would have been like, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, seriously. But, so I don't remember this guy. And then, like, he shows up and he starts hanging out, like, every weekend or whatever, every few weekends. Whenever we have a party, he shows up. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I guess I know this dude. And at this point, I do know the guy because I've seen him. I like, kind of kinda knew him. I kind of knew him. Yeah, I didn't remember him at all. But, uh, so then fucking one day, I grew a lot he, after high school. he, he just shows up and is like, Hey man, I'm, I'm moving out of my house and I'm about to move somewhere else. And I need somebody to watch my dog for a couple weeks while I'm getting my stuff moved up. So this guy uh, is like, Hey man, uh, can I keep my dog? at your house for a couple of weeks while I move <clears throat> because like, you know, shit happens. Like a lot of people will say, no, you can't keep your fucking dog at my house. Like people just don't want to watch dogs, but like, I like dogs. I've always had dogs. And like, I was like, sure, whatever. You can bring your dog over here. 
that you can stay for a couple weeks or whatever while you or I think it was originally a couple days is what we talked about and then it turned into a couple weeks but so he brings the dog over and this dog immediately like shits and pisses in my fucking house like immediately like as he leaves shits and pisses in the house and I was just like oh for real it's this type of dog it and then, like, it started tearing shit up, running okay. around, just being fucking crazy, like, biting people, yep. you know, jumping on and off of everything, just being a terror in this house. And then, like, we had the dog. I, My dog, I just let outside. I would open the door, let my dog outside. He would use the bathroom, and then he would come inside. Yeah. Every once in a while, he'd run off into the woods for, like, a half hour, hour, whatever. No big deal. He'd come back. And, uh, you know, that's just how it was. I wasn't worried about it because I knew the area we were in. Everybody knew that was my dog. Nobody was going to, like, shoot him or anything. Everything. Yeah. It, it, it was cool. Uh, he was safe to run in the woods. Um, so I would just open the door, and then this dog would just run off, too. And I was like, <laughs> okay, bye. Not my fucking dog. My dog comes back. Uh, <laughs> um, it's your dog inside. Yeah. <laughs> no, it yeah. would run off for like four hours. We'd come back or we'd fucking finally get it or whatever. And yeah, it was yeah, we'd, like one of the cause, fucking cause dogs ever. tore a bunch we, of our shit. We, we had it on the chain for a little bit, but it's just a pain in the ass that like every time you take it outside, hold it by the collar. And then, like, walk down the steps, walk out to where the thing is, put it on the chain, let it be out there, hear it fucking barking for the whole time you let it out, off, out there. And then, like, most of the time, it wouldn't go to the bathroom on the chain anyways. So we would let it out there for, like, an hour. It'd be loud as fuck. We'd let it inside, and it'd shit in the house. And so Damn. I was just like, fuck that. I'm letting the dog outside. If it runs away, fuck it. Because also, he never, gave, he never gave us a dollar food, nothing. No, no. Anyways, one day, these fucking two girls show up to our house and are just like, we want our fucking dog back. And we were, me, Park, and Sean were like, oh, wh what dog? What are you talking about? And they were like, we have our dog. It says it was here. We have her microchip. She's a fucking pit bull. We paid like over $2,000 for her. And I was like, wait, what's going on? Like, our friend gave us a dog his dog to watch over they're like no your friend stole a dog from us and then dropped it off at your house yeah so we were harboring a fucking fugitive oh my and god and when they show up her, their dog had gone on a fucking escapade in the woods and had disappeared for hours and we didn't give a fuck at this point because <laughs> we were so done with the dog we we're like fuck it let it go away and they're just yeah. like shitting ass yeah. all over my house <laughs> yeah dude, and and they're like, you have our dog. And we're like, oh, no, he's that dog's in the woods somewhere. Go find it. <laughs> Good luck. It turned out that she was uh, it was her boyfriend yeah. and and it was her mom. And she he had stole it from her when they broke up. But, yeah, man, yeah. he told us it's like it was actually um our drummer's friend, like mostly because he was in our drummer's like age range, which was like mm. maybe two years younger than Josh and maybe three or five younger than me. What a shithead. It, well, not really our drummer, but like they, yeah, they were, that dude was a fucking, was a piece of work. I bought crack yeah, that dude was crazy. like five times. Man. Yeah. And they, didn't, they, they didn't do anything to you guys? Like they didn't hold y'all responsible for anything? No, or? no. They wouldn't no the the be dog showed up because like we, we explained the situation. We were like, look, dude, he, our friend showed up with what we thought was his dog, and we said yeah. we'd watch after him. We're not they hiding your dog. They showed up. I ripped my wife beater open, and I was like, what the fuck are y'all going to do about it? Didn't I <laughs> That's exactly what happened. That's my dog That's now. I said, <laughs> and they fucking. <laughs> no, 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 we were just like, we were just like, we were like, bro, you, we were like, please take that dog. That's literally our response. We we're like, we don't want it. Please take it back. <laughs> it is the worst dog ever. 
Yeah, okay, that, that, prob- that probably was what saved you all of y'all, or just because they probably knew at that point, like, yeah, yeah, he is they, th- they thought we were hi- they thought we were hiding it, and we were like, dude, your dog is in the woods with my dog. They're both in the woods. They'll come back. We'll call you, but um, please come get that fucking dog. I don't want it. My dog is good. Your dog hide- is bad. I'm about to hide it in a hole. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Man, no, well, I wouldn't have killed it, bro. But like, Jesus Christ! It's dogs and, holes. and then when we find out, like, oh, it's fucking stolen. It was just a crazy fucking day. It was fucked up. Dude, that shit was find that guy? Did y'all find him? Did y'all ever ask him? Like, what the fuck, man? Why would you take the girl's he didn't dog? Say anything about it? I mean, it was like words unspoken. I think Harry had said something to him. Sorry, yeah, Harry. I know. I I think I've seen him like one time since all that went down, and we just didn't even bring it up. Like, it just never even got spoke of. It's just like, oh. <laughs> okay, you stole your ex's dog because you were mad that they broke up with you. Well, <laughs> like, it was the PlayStation, bro. Like, it was the PlayStation. <laughs> like, like, I mean, and didn't even, like, try to sell it or anything. Just, like, pawned it off on us. Yeah. I mean... It was that's why it's weird. I mean, try to try and figure out what a guy's thinking when he does something like that. Yeah, that guy wasn't thinking very much. No, <laughs> nah, he was just trying to dunk on people. That's all he wanted to do. I remember he actually at one point. Uh, it was one of our late parties. He got pretty upset with us for bringing up his height. He was pretty sensitive about being uh, a fucking guy. green giant. There was another guy there who was like six four, six five, six six, or something like that. No, there's, I think, a, yeah. there's a picture of both of them with like their fucking arms on top of my head. When you come to my birthday party, can you guys wear platform shoes, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that picture of Perk standing next with his head like this high next to two people is so funny. Like, yeah, no wonder, man. Literally that tall. They That's why he gave you guys the dog. Because he knew if he got seen with the dog anywhere, they were gonna he's gonna get spotted real quick. He could he's like, get these guys a dog. He's like he's like behind like one of those palm leaves. Like <laughs> when you're that big, you can't run and you can't hide. It's just you just can't do anything. Everybody knows who you are. They're just like, ah, oh, there's only one dude around here. Yeah. Giant. Um well that's crazy. So that was yeah, your that's... guys' that's both your guys' story then, huh? Yeah. yeah. I just oh. thought about that one. I have a couple of them, like, in mind. But tell us one, well, Brandon. Tell us a story. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you my own story of stealing. Thieving. Fucking thief. I was four years old and uh, went to the Farm Fresh. I remember in Suffolk. And uh, we, at the end of it, there was this walkthrough of Pepsi cans. And it was all all done up in Halloween decorations. I thought it was fucking so cool. So I just would run in there while she was grocery shopping. I'd be playing around in there. Well, I saw this really fucking cool plastic white rat. And I was like, oh, oh, I, have, I have my own, my, own, uh, my own rat. So I stuffed it in my pocket and we left. She must I swear to God, she must have seen me have it. Because I was having a grand old time in my room. We had like four turtles. They were they were like my ninja turtles. And I had the white rat up on the on the little Lego raft. And he was I was playing with my turtles, <laughs> like re- legit like like yellow belly sliders and stuff. And uh, from the swamp. And um, yeah. man, she come That's kicking awesome. the fucking door down. She was like, "What do you got behind your back?" And I like trying to hide it. <laughs> she said, she she said, "What is it?" And she rips it out of my hand. She goes. I can't believe my son is a thief. How dare you? How dare you do that? And she grabbed me by my hand, man, and sh- sh- slung me into the car, took me all the way back to Farm Fresh, just bitching me out the whole time. I'm crying. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And uh, you see, I uh, I kind of knew from watching TV and stuff that people that wore suits, like, they were important. They worked hard. They did things, you know, like, so, like, everybody in Farm Fresh is wearing a white collared shirt and black tie. And I get there, and I know it's not closing time. Now I think back on the story. They got every motherfucker that worked there to be up in the front when I walked in the door, all, like, standing in a line just mean-mugging me, bro. Like, whole group of motherfuckers looking at me. And I swear to God, 
Bernie, you got scared straight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> by the farm bro. fresh employees. <laughs> Not even by people in jail, by farm fresh employees. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens here? We stack cans here, boy. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't the fucking playground. Yo, Man, I tell you what. Making minimum wage and being mad at a kid for taking a plastic rat. <laughs> <laughs> we got a real bandit on our hands. <laughs> he's still he's a little thief. He, he's a little rat thief. So I guess your mom called them. She must have called them and knew that I had it or something, and had and tried to set it all up. Must have must have had it all set up. Yeah, they yeah, were, she they had were, to. They were waiting. Because this yeah, is she, this is before cell phones, man. You said four years old. This is during the Mesozoic. Yeah, yeah, nineteen ninety two, man. They got back home. She sent a telegraph and said, "My son <laughs> has the rat." <laughs> Handwritten letter. <laughs> Take it by, Take it by an owl. <laughs> by an owl. <laughs> by a fucking pigeon. Yeah, that's Man. fucked up, Brandon. So wait, Yo, that's so crazy. When, you got there, when you got there, what else happened? That was it. That was it. They they all uh they all Publicly took turns. Changed. They all they took turns. Fine on you. Yeah, they all <laughs> took turns pegging me with tomatoes, the big large ones. <laughs> Just to fucking hit her. I thought they you all got one, and I was just like, "Bro, nah, I got one actually. spank. I got one spank from every employee, all eighteen of them. <laughs> a few of them, a few of them seemed eager to be in the line. That's, the That's what's wrong with this country. Farm fresh employees can't spank your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong with this goddamn country. What's wrong with this country? You, you, you can't, I used to have kids. Uh, uh, the neighbors, they they would pet my leg. They'd stroke the leg hair up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Joe the God, Joe Biden. <laughs> Shout so out good. Prezi Joe. Hell yeah. Prezi Joe. Y'all know, that's a, y'all, know that's a, y'all know that's a speech impediment, right? He's not actually uh, retarded. Yeah, an earth or just like um got dementia or whatever. Yeah. It's a it's a speech impediment. He he's completely with it. He'll fucking rock your guys' world in any challenge you guys run run against him on. Except for Yeah, comedy, I bet I, I bet he'll rock some kids world too. Yeah, I was about to say what a kid. The, the kid the kids playing with his leg hair, he rocked their world. I tell you what. Boy, he was sniffing their hair. they were, they were rubbing his hair, he was sniffing theirs. It was a grand old time. <laughs> well, good old Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe's like, yeah, uh, we're I'll beat you on any competition. Oh, I'll beat you on any competition that you. I'll, you I'll, I'll fuck. Me. I'll fuck all the kids. I'll fuck every uh, kid. Uh, <laughs> every guy. Be- all right, we're talking about thievery. How Joe stole the election from Trump. Get ready. Uh, that's what I was about to say, please. Yeah, conspiracy right, theories. Let's talk about continuity. Oh yeah, yeah. And then fucking um, it was the uh it was it the Russians who did it this time or the Chinese or maybe it was it the was Albanians. All of them, all of them, all of them. The the Ukrainians, all of them. <laughs> the the the, the Czechoslovakian, all of them. Everybody. I haven't I haven't really ever even seen a person steal something. Yo, so when I used to work at the gas station, <laughs> I would see. <laughs> I would see people steal shit all the time. It was so funny because, like, people are trying to be slick. And they think they're being slick. And they're just not. Like, they're walking down the aisle. Then they stop for a while. They're, like, standing in front of it. Like, (laughs) and then they grab something. And they walk to, like, the end to where I can't see them. And they stand there for a little bit. And they look around, and then they like, and then they come when they finally get to the counter after 20 minutes of walking around in the store, they buy like three things. I'm just like, bro, I saw you steal like $30 worth of shit. What are you doing, dude? Someone caught me. I, do- I don't care. <laughs> they pay me $8 an hour. Just steal yeah. the shit, dude. Stop trying to fucking. <laughs> 
like spend all this time just put it in your pay- walk out just don't even pay for but this you shit. run the just- risk you run the risk of you being like the gas station pd dude because yeah. like i've been in a gas station and those i was people are, those people are fucking pussies Fuck those people. I worked with I worked with a couple people who were like that. Like if they saw somebody stealing, they'd be like, "Um, sir, you need to put that back. You need to put that back right now." Oh, uh, me that. and you, me and you would have fucking been brawling then, because I would have been. I'm so hard on that. I like at my own co-op grocery store. I see people come in. And I watch them while, like while I'm just sitting down eating a sandwich, right? And I see them go up and down the aisles, and they always initiate a conversation, right? They're always like, "Oh." Oh, yeah, with one of the clerks, right? And then they talked to him for a long time. It's like, oh, I'm just looking around. You know, I'm just looking around. And then they're out the door. And I'm like, y'all need to check your inventory. <laughs> check on that shit. Paul Blart over here. That's me. All right, fucking cops. You fucking <laughs> cop, dude. Dude, fuck that, man. They paid me. That fucking gas station paid everyone who worked there shit. And I actually was friends with the manager and saw how, and saw how much like. It's all how you look what, at it. Hold what, on. What the gas station, what the gas station made. I know overhead is insane, but seriously, what the gas station made in two days paid every single one of the employees for a month. You know, so, I retract my thought. I don't, my thought I don't give good, a but... fuck. I don't give a fuck about. Jesse or Johnny stealing some chips and some jerky. (laughs) No, (laughs) no, no. I just, uh, I happen to know some shysty motherfuckers named Johnny and Jesse. People named Jesse and Johnny. Yeah, yeah. everybody does. Everybody also knows a little Dave that's a shysty motherfucker. (laughs) Anybody watching this podcast, if you know a little Dave, he's a shysty motherfucker. And you, you probably know one. Um, no, uh, I got caught by the 7-Eleven police. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. Sometimes 7-Eleven people be wearing, like, fucking reflective shit. You notice that? They might be, like, the, the man or something. The yeah, he one, called, they got the stripes. Yeah, yeah. He called me, and I had, like, I had a, a, a reasonable amount of donuts. <laughs> 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 just, just enough for, for fucking more than one man. <laughs> <laughs> Too many donuts for one man. And so they're like, they're like, empty your pockets, blah, blah, blah. And like, I empty all my pockets. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. I was like, I was going to pay for some of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, if, if I'm working there, I'm looking at, okay, I'm making this much money. They're paying me this much money to take a motherfucker out. I get, get away with it. Like I get to, I get to kick some. Like I get to do, something. like that's my thought on the whole thing. If I was doing it, I'd be like, I get, I have so much power here. I get to tell them, oh, your card is declined. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, honestly, when I worked at the gas station, that was great. That shit was great. Talking shit to the customers. Like, I, I, they, I, I, what was I, honestly what was always the best is if you had a shitty customer because some people would walk in the door and be like. I start talking shit just immediately. And what was always the best is I'd let them talk shit all the way through the store. I'd let them get all their stuff. I'd let them bring it to the counter. And I'd say, oh, you can't buy anything here. I'm not checking you out. That I'm was, what? that was, <laughs> I'm what? I'm what? I ain't checking you out. I'm what? <laughs> no contact. You look, you look on the table. I- break from you but, right now. I'm but back. like for real Never. that was that was the best that was the best being like oh i'm not checking you out and they're like what oh, oh i'm never coming back here again. Blah, blah. And i would be like okay cool bye oh you want me to call my manager cool she lives in the apartment complex right there she's one of my good friends yeah i'll call her and she'll tell you to fuck off and not come back and goodbye leave shoo shoo like that was the best they're part probably, of that. They're probably distracting you to steal some shit. They probably have pockets full of Snickers and you had no idea. I was I was also stealing like twenty to thirty dollars worth of alcohol every single day every I worked. Day. Every him, day. Him and Sean would fucking steal so much alcohol and drink it all at work. 
They were fucking nasty boys. But Dude, I can't even I was, say shit because I used to steal shit from McDonald's and I was working there. Fuck you, McDonald's. Shout out. I used, I used to steal bootleggers and four locos and get shit faced in the cooler and then go out and work the rest of my shift. Like this chug of four loco. Y'all should have got yeah. spanked farm fresh guys because I ain't never stole nothing since. Nothing. <laughs> That's why you're gay. <laughs> Steel Yo. is just like jumping on an airplane, man. It's air, it's adrenaline. Yo, I I look at it this way. No. Like no, I would never jumping. steal for like the company I worked for. Like the company I work for now, the company I worked for before this that I had my serious job at, I would never steal any from anything from. I would never steal anything you know from my friends i would never steal anything but like at the gas station i felt like i was being entirely used and my life meant nothing to them and i and i i was making fucking peanuts for it so the way i looked at it is if you're gonna treat me like shit while you make millions and millions of dollars yeah, I'm going to get you on $30 a night worth of alcohol because the alcohol that I'm stealing from you helps me fucking deal with the fact that I live in a I I live in this fucking shit situation that I can barely fucking stand. Like I want to kill myself. So instead of doing that, I'm going to steal alcohol from your company <laughs> and get fucked up every night. I Fuck love you. Those are your two options. <laughs> I either kill That's myself. it. All I right. kill myself or I steal all your alcohol. Those are the only options. I think there's more options than that. <laughs> more options. You can not, go on the dead. Not, in, not go, in Wilmington, North Carolina. You got to leave. You just got to go to. Not in Wilmington, North Carolina. Go, there is not more Australia. options than that. Heroin is an option in Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> Dude, there was so many fucking dope heads in fucking Wilmington, man. Like people nodding out while they're walking across the street and shit. Yeah, daily. Glad y'all got Castle Law in North Carolina. There's so much death there. Yeah, the, I see those people, and the, there's like one thing that goes through my head: these are my people. <laughs> so where I go from, <laughs> living in <this> life. <laughs> These are my people. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh no! Here you go. Uh, I'm stealing chicken I nuggets. Them. You stole? Oh, oh, your chicken, yeah. your McNuggets. Yeah. I'm stealing chicken nuggets like all night long, man. Like I just steal one <laughs> and put it in, <laughs> dip into the bag and eat it. Well, my man's are called the fucking McDonald's phone. <laughs> like it's a house phone, bro. What is it? Bringing it three thirty in the morning. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I answer it. Perk, why are you eating fucking McNuggets? <laughs> She's like, I don't seen you take three or four of them. She's like, I've been watching you. I woke up and decided to look at the cameras. I'm like, man, I'll pay for them, I guess, blah, blah, blah. Like, She's like, I should fire your ass. <laughs> She's like, you get a free sandwich every night. And she's like, <laughs> every single one you make, you put three or four patties on them. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah bro she was talking oh my god yeah yeah bro you you no and she's tripping man why is she tripping like that <laughs> yeah it was a dollar 49 for a four piece bro you know oh how that, much mcdonald's I mean, you know how so, much mcdonald's pays for that fucking four piece uh it's like 20 cent if that Dude, fuck them chicken nuggets. Eat them bitches. And your your manager, is that coming out of her paycheck? Don't think so. Tell her to go to sleep and mind her fucking business. Yeah, for real. Like, you have for to come real. back here at 7 o'clock. Leave me alone. Dude, that shit gets on my so, nerves. Then another time, all right, uh, when I was working there, all right, when after midnight, the, um, the, the prices changed. Or no, you couldn't buy anything but a four-piece and a 20-piece. The six piece and the ten piece were gone, and this lady comes up there and she's like, "Yeah, um, well, no, you could buy a six piece, but they were two ninety nine. It was like a weird price change after after midnight, and she's like, "You're going to charge me two ninety nine for a six piece because I bring it up, and it's like on the little menu out there, and I was like, "No, ma'am, McDonald's is charging you two ninety nine for a six piece. 
I was like, I don't make commission off of all the nuggets that I sell. <laughs> <laughs> I was just you told that bitch you don't make commission. So then she says my manager's name, like the the big manager. She's like, oh, I should give a call. And I was like, maybe you should. <laughs> I was just like, maybe you should. Like, I already knew maybe I was you good. <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe you should ask them to fix the prices. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, man. So then uh, my manager comes and sees me like the next day. And she's like, why did you say that to her? And I'm <laughs> I was like, cuz man, I was like, she's acting like I'm making commission off these nuggets. I was like, I'm already getting paid fucking seven forty an hour. I said I was supposed to get a dollar fucking raise working overnight, but because I started out not working overnight, I didn't get the con- like the initial dollar over everybody else. And oh, I'm like, that's fucking bullshit, man. Like my shift got changed to overnight because y'all had nobody. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. And then I completely changed my entire life. When you change your fucking shift from night to day, you you are changing your entire life. <laughs> yeah, I didn't dude. Realize that. Yeah, I made like, a ten percent pay increase when I switched from days to night at the last company I worked for, yeah. and it wasn't worth it. No, I mean a dollar extra at fucking so. You know me, I stole a whole bunch of shit in that motherfucker. Fuck you, McDonald's. Fuck you, Ronald, little bitch ass. Yeah, I actually know somebody who took a shit in the sink at that McDonald's that you worked at. It was me. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, so, I know one time I pissed all over the floor in that motherfucker because the employees made me mad. So I, I just pissed I all over the floor. There. I was in there with Henry one time. And uh, I was in there acting like I was shitting. And I heard somebody come in, and there was like a plunger in the stall, man. And I'm in there like, ah, 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 and Henry's outside the stall, and I take the plunger and I just spear it into the water like I just shit this big ass turd. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like it splashed, like, and fucking the dude like left like immediately, no washing the hands, nothing. <laughs> Henry, Henry was geeking, dude. He was like, bro, he fucking dipped. He got out of here. Yo, get back to the theft stories, man. You get three yeah. fucking dudes get get laughing about farts and stuff all day. Just, just nah, we we can't. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got a I got a good I got a really good thief story that's fucking funny as fuck. It still blows my mind. As soon as we uh decided to talk about thieving shit, this is like one person one person specifically came into mind. We'll save that though. But uh, this is a different scenario. I'm at a party one night, and it's at it's at uh, at the time a good friend of mine's house, and uh, everybody's out in like the shed, garage area, and everybody's partying. We're having a good time, whatever. There's so many people. Like, it's one of those parties where most of the people don't know each other. Situation. Like, there's a group of people that knows each other. And then there's a bunch of fucking random people. It's one of those situations. And well, Brandon, both, Brandon's never been to a party. So explain to him what a <laughs> what a party is. A party and it was it was very scary. <laughs> I was I was scared. What um, is a party for Brandon and and our autistic viewers at home? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean all of our viewers? <laughs> yes. Um, Every last one of us. Yeah, so, yeah, seriously. Us, but, First um, time, I was artistic. I got into yeah. graphics. And <laughs> I made cards for people. You made what for people? I made cards, Christmas cards and stuff. And A plus graphics. Yep. I, I used like, to do that too. Uh, <laughs> anyways, anyways, we're at this party. And... We're in the fucking barn we're, or shed, whatever. We're having a good time. At some point, I think, because uh, nobody was supposed to go in the house because it was like a bunch of random people showing up. So it was like nobody's allowed in the house unless you know the motherfuckers that live there. Like there was somebody standing by the door most of the night being like, yo, or somebody in the house being like, don't come in here. We don't know you basically. And I guess at one point in the night, there was nobody in that uh, watching the door and we go in, I went in and I went to grab something to eat and I open up the, the cupboard 
and the motherfucker had stolen all the canned food out of the house. Even the who hash? Bro, even the who, the roast beast was gone. Dude, I, I had never seen anything like this in my life. This is some real shit. I opened the cabinets. I was like, hey, yo. Uh, did, did y'all, like, put all y'all stuff in the room or something? I'm fucking hungry. And they were just like, are you fucking kidding me? Somebody stole our canned food? And, like, we opened the freezer. The frozen food is gone. Like, they... <laughs> These motherfuckers went in all the cabinets and stole the, all the food out of the house. Bro, hunger is a hell of a thing. And oh, I was just like, there's nothing. There's no. We can barely hear you. What's going on? Oh, there's nothing more torturous. How's that? Fair. Yeah, I mean, hunger's a motherfucker. I, I know I'd steal for some food, but like, they had to have come in there with like a duffel bag. <laughs> like the fucking Grinch leaving out this motherfucker with frozen food. Like what? you had to live close. You stole frozen food. What? Yeah. You? Yeah. Or just had a getaway car or a giant. Like... <laughs> Ocean's fucking eleven. Ocean's eleven degrees. <laughs> Come to think of it, actually, later that night at the party, there was someone outside with a cooler and a grill, making food. So. <laughs> Make it. You steal it. They, 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 they were making like co- co- canned corn in a pot, <laughs> and, and like fucking chicken nuggets on the grill, <laughs> with an army duffel bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Like, yeah, I brought this from home. <laughs> I brought this for the party. What do you mean? Uh, I'm the catering. I'm the catering for the um, party. One time, I was at a party and we got really hungry, and. uh I call Weird. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you were at a party and got hungry? Fake, bullshit. fake news. <laughs> and, uh, I remember I was, I was uh, with my friends, and, uh, man, we were raiding the freezer trying to find something. It was nothing but, like, peas and green beans. I remember one of the guys just was like, fuck this or something, and we lost a bunch of green bean packages behind the refrigerator. Ow, 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 I just got a cramp. Oh, God's God telling me that was fucked up. Oh, <laughs> we never said nothing about it. So they- <laughs> you lost peas behind the refrigerator? Did you yeah. throw them? They managed to get back there somehow. They were wilding out that night. How did they manage to get behind we had a bunch of rats stealing dog food from us one year. That sucked. That is stealing. They were stealing that shit. They changed the they changed the crop cross the road from 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 cotton to peanuts, and they were uh, our shit, man. It was terrible. There was like hundreds of rats in the backyard. And that night, when when the, with the whole the whole pee thing, they were uh, they were in the metal, and they would do this fucking song. They were just talking about the rats, and it was like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> So so many thief stories that I have that are funny. Perk also was there. Yeah, yeah. Perk is about to tell a funny. (laughs) All right, so when I was at the last place I was staying at, my I had my PS4 and it wasn't hooked up. And it's sitting on the floor for like man weeks. I didn't play it. And because I don't play it. And, um, so one day I go in there and it's gone and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I had five other roommates. One was my girlfriend and then it was a guy and a guy and his girl, his girl. No, I had seven other roommates. Excuse me. And, um, and all of y'all were living in somebody else's house. Yep. Damn right. We were every one of those roommates were in not the person whose name was on the house. I've lived a life. You gotta do that. Times get hard when you're going through. I have lived a life. Same. All right, so hold up. I go to the, I'm like, all right, so who stole our shit? And there's literally only been one person who's come over besides the people who live there. And it's the black guy. And I'm not trying to be like that. <laughs> Yo, immediately it was him. I was like, maybe one of my roommates have like, had grabbed it and had used it. Cause they all had TVs in their room. And I was like, maybe they fucking wanted to play some fucking video games. I don't care. 
you know, this fucking controller was gone too. So I was like, yeah. okay. Well, and it wasn't like somebody just scooped the PS4 and just did. Like, they fucking went through my bag and found the controllers as well. So, like, I wanted to say, so I go to the first person's room, and they had, like, a curtain up. And I'm like, yo, you got my PS4? Do you guys got it? Nah. I'm like, all right. And I'm just getting more and more mad. And I go to the next person's room, and it's just, like, a light. You know, and they're like, what's up? I'm like, yo, do you guys got my fucking PS4? And they're like, no. I'm like, all right. I go to the third right. person. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna bust that bitch down. And my roommate is like, Berg, what's wrong? I'm like, yo, you have my PS4. You have my fucking P- And he's like, no, nah, dude, I haven't seen it. And I'm like, well, you need to call your friend. And I was like, I didn't want to fucking say it was him. I was like, but you better see it's him. And I was like, let him know that I will kill him. And fucking, so he calls his friend. And his friend's like, all right, we're gonna, oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna give it back. Well, my other roommate comes in there and like throws me a bat. And I just catch it. I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, homeboy had it. He's like, we're about to go get him. And I was just like, no, we're not about to go beat this black dude with bats. <laughs> that sounds like something like exactly we're not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to his house. This was the summer sh- last year. I mean, there was riots going on. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> dog. Gonna, I'm not going to jail for beating a black man to death with a baseball bat. Over a PS4. I was like, I was just mad. <laughs> I was like, really, if he fucking, if he got away with it, he got away with it. It would have, I would have just let it go. It's fucking two, three hundred bucks. But he gave it back. And I have that, I gave that PS4 to my homie for Christmas for uh, recording my fucking next album. Plug the album, uh, it's Squalor Flow. Yeah, check it out. That's wild, dude. That is wild. Yo, I got a, uh, you were, uh, I think that day, man, for sure. Yeah, it was really lucky that he, like, wanted to give it back. I mean, lucky. Today's, uh, today's episode is uh, brought to you by Carmex. Carmex uh, is for you dry-lipped ass motherfuckers out there who are always just looking crusty. And Carmex wants to let you know that you don't have to be a crusty ass bitch. Uh, Carmex, use uh, promo code ASHY <laughs> and check out. <laughs> also today... The podcast has been brought to you by Bic, Bic Lighters. At any point, if you need a trusty lighter that's always going to have your back, know that Bic has your back. You can light a fire anywhere. You can light a fire underwater with the, with this bad boy. You can go uh, 20,000 feet down. Yeah, exa- You can go up your button around the corner, round and round <laughs> with this bad boy. And the best thing about Bic Lighters is you know they're going to work. And <laughs> What's even better than knowing that your lighter is going to work is knowing that you got a trusty pen to go with your lighter. You can you can smoke cigarettes and write your poetry every you single make, day of your make life. Make a crack stem out of the pen and then use a big lighter to, to light it. That's exactly right. Big will light your your your, your uh, candles. It'll it'll light your fires. It'll light your weed, your crack, your heroin, your meth. It, it, it'll even light your PCP, if that's your fancy. Uh, big Lighters, sh- very big shout out to Big Lighters. They've helped me through so many situations where I've been like, what do I do with this drug? Sometimes I use the Big Lighter, I put it I put it in a little dollar bill. I give myself a, 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 a folder like this. I put the folder on my, I, I fold up the pill, and I use the Big Lighter to crush it up. Thank that's you, what ben. Big Lighters are good for. Thank you, know, you sometimes. For Thank up. you, Big Sometimes my big light at, at my bowl starts to get ashy. Use the bottom of it, push down your weed. Thanks, it packs man. your bowl for you. Thanks, Bic. Thank yeah, you, Bic. You know, it's just a, a completely diverse tool for your typical drug addict. If you're a <laughs> drug addict and you watch this podcast and you don't have a big lighter, go out and get your big lighter. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Come on. You know, if you're using any other type of lighter, your gas station lighter, you're out here fucking around spending a dollar, dollar fifteen cents at a time. Just, just go ahead, spend the money, two nineteen, get you a high quality lighter that's gonna last you a lifetime. If you have a problem with uh, lighter thieves, you know what happens the next time you catch them, set their fucking ass on fire with your big lighter. I'm telling you, you need to go out and get you one. Yes. 
Thank you, Josh, for that plug for Bic. Uh, really, really good friends of the podcast. Um, they really love that we endorse drugs. And today, what is that? One, one time I was, uh, I didn't know I was housing. Well, it wasn't. I was at my parents' house, but there was this fugitive from the law that burnt down a fucking church. I'm sure he Bic lighter. Did he use it? Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sure. Big lighters. <coughs> promo code church burn at the at the register. I didn't even know it, man. I didn't know it. And I never expected him to be the kind of person to do it. It was really fucked up. I have a couple friends that burnt down a uh, abandoned house. And I'm kind of jealous I wasn't involved with it. That sounds like a fun story. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> You know what oh. I'm jealous of? Not being involved in a fucking felony arson case. I'm fucking yeah. jelly. Yeah, for real. Speaking of stealing stuff, and uh, I think it was the person you gave the PS4 to. Um, remember, I was at another party, and someone's, I think it was a shotgun or a rifle that happened to go missing. Do you remember that? Was I there? Uh, Throne of Botus was there. I don't remember that. Th this is the party where I saw, before the party, I saw <laughs> the occupants had a dog that had one eye. The other eye had rotted out of this dog's face. Oh. And so they decided to put the dog down. They dug a hole. Put the dog in the hole, alive, and then I saw another person try to shoot the dog while it was in the hole. The dog, he shot at the dog, missed the dog, the dog jumped out of the hole and ran away. <laughs> I was not there, but I know what you're talking about. The walking dog. Oh my God, this is a real story. <laughs> no, it's even funnier when my cousin tells it and she's like, yeah, I heard him out there and I heard it was either gunshot or two. And then she's like, oh, he shot the dog. And then the dog runs up to the fucking front door. And he's like, and she's like, did the dog shoot him? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. The dog just dancing around fucking John Wick and just... <laughs> That makes my stomach hurt. Or it makes my stomach hurt. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Anyways, so I guess it was that gun that he was about to sh So the person whose dog it was lived in the house. The person whose gun it was was that person's stepdad, I believe. The person who was doing the shooting stole the gun after they didn't kill his dog because it was the person who lived there's dog the person who lived there was like hey buddy can you come over and shoot my dog for me and this guy <laughs> before before i have my birthday party i'm gonna have a birthday party before i have my party i want you to come over and shoot my dog and, and so this guy comes over and is like yeah sure i'll shoot your dog before the party doesn't shoot his dog parties all night and then steals the gun steals a gun and a generator and the yeah and the generator for friends of the podcast shouts out Sh shouts out fucking same person Jeez. after josh wrecked his fucking car uh may have taken his catalytic converter may so there's have. your thief story and like Josh didn't even say nothing about it. Me and Josh were together. Josh he came back here for a couple of months and he was working with his dad. And we and him were working for his dad. And we saw the dude who stole it. And he's just like, first, I mean, like right off the fucking jump street, he's like, I didn't steal your catalytic converter. And it's like, that much makes us think you did. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, it was the, like first, he was like, Joshy boy, just so you know, I didn't steal your catalytic converter. And I was just like, Seems like sure? <laughs> it kind of seems like you did. Yeah. Wow. That's fucked up, man. Yeah. I uh, oh, I, I had uh, a roommate 
one time um take some money from me and uh actually just heard uh, a month and a month ago or two months that he wanted to pay me back everything that he owed me i was like damn that's awesome so we'll see maybe but it basically i um had this wow line. that's actually that's really cool what happened did he like go to jail did he get butt fucked or something no he actually put he actually put me in jail at one point yeah 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 well no, again, it's really great um so he's a friend of mine we're working as line cooks at a burger place and I eventually made it out onto the floor because I was <clears throat> taking the fucking fry. And I was basically a glorified bus boy that got tips. Like, are you fucking shitting me? I'm not even taking anybody's orders. I'm just getting them ketchup and they're just giving me five bucks here, ten bucks here. Sick. I was making more money than the managers. I had been saving money up, man. I didn't have a whole lot of friends up here in Wisconsin. I meet this guy. Dude, I had stacks of money underneath my bed. I was just keeping stacks. I think he knew about it because I let him in my fucking room. I didn't think this motherfucker was going to take anything from me. Anyways, he must have seen I had a bottle of Vicodin with one Vicodin in it from my surgery that I wanted to look at as a memento and be like, I'm never going to fucking touch these things. These things are horrible. And it was just it was just like a, a fucking thing I looked at every now and then. He fucking took the Vicodin, bro. And I sat him down, right? Oh, I would have taken the Vicodin. I would have definitely <laughs> taken that Vicodin. I'd be like, bro, you're not using it. Let me. Fuck you. Let me get high asshole i was like bro bro we need to talk and i was kind of i was crying about it man because i was like dude we're about to move in with each other like if you're gonna do something this fucked up like that shit meant a lot to me you know and if it was that petty how big would you steal you know like don't fucking do this shit to me you know and uh yeah. anyways he uh basically i had the the first line of poetry that i ever really wrote when i first started writing again um i got so excited about it i took half my rent from the bank and had it in my grocery bag and i put all the groceries in the grocery in the uh the refrigerator and then i lost my money i was like oh my god i lost my money because i got too excited about this fucking bar of poetry like what the fuck and uh he helped me like rip apart the house for like fucking this seemed like four hours or something man we just ripped apart the whole fucking house and he had taken the money. He had taken the money. <laughs> that was crazy, Bro, man. You're you're a good one for forgiving him. You're better than well, me. Y'all didn't get y'all didn't get why I got arrested. He got me arrested because his friend, we were arguing about it in the kitchen, and his friend like come and said something about it. And I said, uh, I said, I was like, you stay out of it. You're a, f I, you know what? I'm not, you know what? I'm not even going to tell y'all what I said. I'm just going to, I'm just going to not say anything. Anyways, basically they called the You told him you was going to knock his fucking head off. Basically, I told him some stuff. I told him some bad yeah. stuff, some real bad stuff. Some racist yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, he was Asian. <laughs> well, it was during the summer. Oh, much smaller yeah. than me. Well, it was right after the summer too. So I, like during the, during the summer, most of the area, they think of me not like really white. So yeah, fuck them, them white motherfuckers, man. Uh, <laughs> motherfuckers, fuck. Oh, yeah, man. fuck them crackers, man. Listen, 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 listen. I didn't do anything. I basically said some shit and said, but we don't live in that century, do we? You're a goddamn thief, too, I said. And uh, basically, he called the cops on me. The cops came. They asked me what I said. And you should always say to cops, I don't answer questions. I plead fit. That's all you ever say, people. That's all you ever say. I don't answer questions. I plead the fifth. Here's my ID. That's all. Just give them your fucking ID and say I plead the fifth. That's it. But uh, that's probably the best advice off of the whole podcast. If you ever have to interact with police, just say I don't speak to police. You keep, say. You keep, say, and I quote, "I'm white. I'm white." <laughs> But give give them your information. Give them your ID. And I, say, want, I don't, I don't speak to police. I'm why. This is my ID. I'm why. Sir, I think you have a mistake. I'm why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, basically, they put me, they asked me what I said. I was very honest with them because he stole my fucking money. And they were like, sir, we have no proof that he stole your money. And I was like, yeah, he did. He did. And anyway. <laughs> They uh, they yeah. Yeah, but he did it though. 
and then I had a public defender. I had a really nice public defender work with me and uh, work with everything because it, it didn't really even say on the sheet that I harmed him at all. And um, and then I got out of it. And then I got out of the whole. Th- I got out of the whole thing, so I was good because, like, I didn't. I didn't do anything really. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You can't talk to people in in a very in a very harmful you, way. You can't say whatever you want to say. No. You go to jail for that. No. No, you don't have liberty. Like, you don't have entire liberty in in America. Let's just put it that way. Not up north. And, until there- yesterday, I couldn't say. Danielle Bergoli got some big old titties. <laughs> but now I can. Bahabi. Bahabi got some big old dunkers. Knockers. <laughs> some unga dungas. He's got some tig old bahitties. <laughs> she, she got some bad Bahabis. <laughs> Danielle's Bergolis have grown. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but but like <laughs> three days ago, I couldn't have said that. No, that'd have been wrong. Exactly. <laughs> you can't say whatever you want. But luckily, one thing that I want to say <laughs> is that you over. That's a nice. Thank you, John. Some- Somebody has got to take a stand. <laughs> You're get, at least we're talking about the real issues. Let's get to the meat of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. I but remember you, uh, from WWJD straight from the bottom of our hearts. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday, Danielle Brigoli, you know? Happy, you know, come through, slide anytime you want yeah. to. You trying to slide, we trying to slide, yeah. you know what I mean? You're trying to be on the pot. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up anytime you want. That's fucking funny. Yo, that fucking um, much dank of her and Twenty One Jumper is so funny. Bang 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 bang. But yo, weren't you at weren't you at the um that cokehead's house that one night when uh uh the old neighbor showed up and everybody stole a lawnmower with him. We were all drinking and doing cocaine, and then we went out smashing mailboxes, and we stole a lawnmower with somebody who used to live in the neighborhood. I don't remember that. Okay, I guess you weren't there. So our friends from uh, VB came down, and we were in uh, Sean's neighbors, the cokehead. And we were partying, doing cocaine, getting drunk, and everybody was like, well, we're bored. Let's go smash some mailboxes. So like they you went out, like you do. So they go out, they start smashing mailboxes, and they see an old an old friend who used to live in the neighborhood, and he has a truck with ramps going into the tailgate, and he's sneaking into <laughs> the across the street neighbor's barn where they have their fucking riding lawnmower. So they go over there <laughs> and assist him in pushing the lawnmower into his truck so he can steal their riding lawnmower. Like you do. Some stand-up lads. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was fucking so funny. Because I wasn't there for that. I was actually in the house, passed out drunk in the closet. I fell asleep, like, in the closet, shit-faced. And, um, yeah, I woke up the next day, and, like, there were no mailboxes on the post. Like, on the whole street. Everybody's mailbox had just been obliterated. And I was, like, I was driving to work, because I had work in the morning. I was driving to work, and I was just, like, bro, what the fuck is... (laughs) Are you serious? I was like, what did y'all do? Because, like, I knew. I knew. I was just like, it was y'all that did this. The equivalent of, like, bombing the post office. Dude, it was so funny. Right where everybody <laughs> boxes. It's horrible. It's horrible, for real. It's really bad. That's a very bad story, whoever did that. But, like, 
mailboxes could just fucking go away. All I ever get is coupons. And I'm like, I don't, I don't like so how many other people are, are just getting fucking papers and papers of bullshit. I mean, full of garbage. Everybody, everybody is getting a fuck ton of bullshit. Mail is bullshit. Like there's probably three or four things a month that need to be sent to you in your mailbox. A oh, God. Sim- <laughs> What's you're the fucking, if you're a fucking mailman and you're just driving down the street and everybody's mailbox is gone, like, what do you do? Do you call that one in? Like, <laughs> like what the fuck is going on here? You could probably I think, book like, or I think I think it depends on who you are, but for me, I would just drop it by where the mailbox was. He's like, um, <laughs> Josh is like, I'm going home 20 minutes early today. <laughs> for real, I'd be like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as shit. <laughs> I would not do that. I would put it behind their door. I would run for them. I'd feel so bad. I'd be like, oh man, they fucked your them fucking kids, man. Goddamn kids. Yo, Brandon would stop at everybody's house, I, ran, put their mail in there. I brought you know what? Actually, when I was a mailman, I did have I did have a large steel tube for pa- tamping them back in and putting it back in the ground, and straightened it. It wasn't many, but you know, you keep it on hand. Good That's where after you hit them. Because like 90% of mailmen are drunk. You ever been behind one? <laughs> <laughs> you give them some credit. They used to walking, man. They just don't give a fuck. They're just like, you know. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to hop off of here. I got some okay. people coming to hang out. Uh, I'd love to stay and talk about some more stories. It's nah, funny as fuck, but... Uh, like you have friends in real life. It's cool, dude. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe later tonight we'll we can uh, hop on another one or something. That's fine. All right. Sounds- Love y'all. Thank, thank, love y'all. Great cast.